A community comes together in the middle of the night to remember and honor those lost when a gunman opened fire in an Aurora movie theater. I'm Alan Janay. For the first time, those mourners had a memorial to commemorate the anniversary of the Aurora Theater shooting. That deadly night was six years ago on this date. Our Mackenzie O'Keefe spent much of her day at the memorial, which is near the theater in Aurora. And while this is a sad anniversary, Mackenzie, it's also kind of a powerful reminder of strength. It is, Alan. Now, this is a day that weighs on the hearts of all Coloradans and really a day that will never be easier for the friends and families of those victims and even the survivors who live through this horror. But here in Aurora, you can really feel a sense of hope and a sense of healing. Six years ago on July 20th, 2012. I just feel numb like on this day. It's 12 lives were taken, 70 people were injured, and hundreds of lives were changed when a gunman opened fire in an Aurora movie theater. A lot of memories and um, I guess you could say pictures like the events that played out um, really are stuck in my brain this year. Kaylin Bailey lost her soon to be cousin in the shooting, six year old Veronica Moser Sullivan. And six years later, the pain has not gone away. Bailey was one of dozens of people at the midnight vigil Thursday night to honor the lives that were cut too short in 2012. One of the things we learned from this tragedy is the importance of community and coming together and remembering together. Tears were shed as people gathered in the healing garden lined with crosses, each one bearing a photo of a victim and a written note from loved ones. We will be stronger. The grief overcome by an emotional celebration. As the officers who responded to the theater that night pulled up. I knew I didn't have to talk to you and you would be here anyway. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. And while this day will never get easier, I just wish I could see what what she would be doing, what she'd like. A sense of family and hope has grown in this community. To have people, you know, come together and you have a shoulder to cry on because, you know, they feel the same way you do. They've experienced, you know, the same amount of loss and grief and pain that, you know, July 20th, 2012 put on everyone. Now, these family members told me today that really mourning together shows them that they can do this together in strength and that nobody has to grieve alone. Also, having this new memorial here provides somewhere for these families and loved ones to remember those lives lost not only today, but for years to come. We're live in Aurora, Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado First. Well, thanks for bringing us that story, Mackenzie. Thank you very much. Pre